good morning. Kind of a wet morning, but it's not raining at least. And they say it's to dry off and get up to 22 degrees later on. Hmm, okay. If you say so. 15 degrees now, and it is wet. Yesterday I got up and looked at oh, yeah, okay, it's a decent day. I decided, right, I got up, have a shower, have my breakfast, and just before lunch I'll go for a spin on the bike, just get out for a little while, maybe record a vlog. So 11 o'clock I decided to hit the road, got my biker gear on. 11.10 is starting to book it rain. So there went that. I just said, no, I'm not going up. No. I'll sit in and have a lazy day. So I sat down and watched crap on TV all day. Um, on Saturday, I also had a lazy day wife had someone around to do her hair and the daughter was in there as well and I decided ah sure I'll go in the bedroom peace and quiet I'll lie down for a little I was about two o'clock wife came in to me later going um, are you getting up for dinner case of, uh, what? Sorry, what? Because, yeah, it's, uh, half five. So, holy shit. So, I guess I needed the nap, because I slept for most of the day. lately has just been fairly awful. Not great biking weather, but when your bike is your means of commute, it is what it is. So I'm looking to get a proper set of wet gear to go over my biker gear. But I also want a set of wet gear that I can use when I'm out uh, doing photography and stuff because especially coming into the winter it's going to be needed and especially if the weather starts getting wetter and wetter like it has it'll definitely be needed so I was looking at uh, a Savage gear uh, the Black Savage trousers and jacket looks quite good decent price. It's designed for fishers and anglers and stuff like that. And it seems to be liked and rated well among the angling community. So, I'm just going to have another further look before I decide if I will or won't. So for me, the wet gear is kind of dual purpose, whereas a lot of people are buying wet gear for the bike, so, you know, just light slip-over jackets and trousers and stuff. Still waiting on Joe Duffy to come back to me about my gears and gear change lever that they need to replace. Should be this week, really. I think Patrick's on holidays, though, so I might have to chase them a little bit. Next weekend, next Saturday, is the Women's Rugby World Cup 
um, finals. So I have to go to Belfast for that. Um, not sure if I will ride up, carpool up, or drive. I'll wait and see. Other than that, life is fairly good. I'm on the bike every day, commuting to work, and sometimes I feel, Ugh, I just don't want to go home, I want to keep going, I want to go for a spin, but I can't, because I have to go and collect my daughter, which is kind of fun, because she's, she's nuts in a good way. We always have a laugh when she gets home. Ah, Dublin City traffic. Yeah, they've changed one of the routes down on the Keys today. Well, today is the first real day it comes into effect. So I believe from the radio this morning that it's driving people mad. So we shall see how it goes. I know you wanted to do that. So yeah, one of the junctions on the keys now, you basically want the bus, like three lanes like this, you want the bus in the left-hand lane to get over to the right-hand lane to take a right turn over a common bridge and all the cars need to then move from the left hand lane into the centre lane to go straight because they can no longer turn on O'Connell Bridge. So the first few the days of that are going to cause no end of confusion among people. Something you gotta get used to around Dublin City. The way traffic management works, or doesn't work in a lot of cases. And uh, taxi. I play cyclist. Give him enough room anyway. Whether he took it or not is the other thing. And uh, taxi. Taxi drivers. I hate taxi drivers for some strange reason. Kind of warm and muggy this morning. 16 degrees it says. I kind of like this hour of the morning and at the same time I don't like it because well, it's now 7.40. So it's quiet-ish. Still, traffic is heavy enough. I know I probably could get up a little bit earlier. And miss out on more of this traffic and get into work earlier. Which all has its advantages. But then I miss seeing my little one in the morning. something I dearly love. Mr. Taxi Driver pulling across me. Mm. I still feel drops of rain in the air. getting the tail end of some hurricane out in the Atlantic or something. 
Uh, I don't know. I just know that it's wet and miserable. I will say I am really liking these new tires. They seem to be solid and reliable. Seems to have good grip and good performance, which is what I want from them. 